Hello. You're watching this video because you or a loved one is suffering from a very chronic health condition, peripheral neuropathy. That means numbness or tingling in the feet or the hands, shooting pains, or muscle weakness. And we treat this condition both metabolically and neurologically. And I'm here to tell you that no stone is left unturned to determine the exact cause of your peripheral neuropathy. My name is Dr. Stephen Molesky. I'm a chiropractic physician. I've been in practice for over 30 years. I'm located in Tallahassee, Florida. Causes of peripheral neuropathy include nerve damage, autoimmune problems, metabolic disorders, and nutritional deficiencies. Over 20 million Americans suffer from this, and 60% of people with diabetes suffer from diabetic neuropathy. So it's very important that we determine the cause of your problem and correct it. To do that, we run through 10 panels. The first is a complete metabolic panel. Second, a complete thyroid panel. Third, complete lipid panel. Fourth, a complete blood count with differential. We can assess all your organs, blood cells, and gut function with these tests. Now, I know what you're going to say, Doc, I had all those tests done and they all came back negative. Well, I can appreciate that. These tests are very, very thorough. And when a test comes back, you can come back with a lab average for normal. And that's based on the average person that comes in to get their blood test. Well, the average person isn't really that healthy. What we find is that there's a functional level that's much tighter. And we want to see where your values fit into this functional range. Because if your value is out here, you could be getting false negatives. And we'll get a lot of information by seeing where you fit into that functional range. So it's vital that we run these tests to determine what's going on in your body. The fifth is sensitivity testing. Now with this, we test for sensitivity to gluten, eggs, milk, soy, and yeast. If you suffer from any of these sensitivities, it can be causing your problem or greatly aggravating it. Some of the symptoms of a uh, sensitivity would be bloating or indigestion, constipation, loose bowels, or chronic pain or fatigue. So the best way for us to determine if you have a sensitivity to one or all of these is to run this test. The next is called an adrenal stress index test. This is a saliva test that further tests your adrenal glands. If your cortisol level is off, then you'll suffer from insomnia and blood sugar imbalances. And what's nice is we can balance this cortisol using all natural nutritional protocols. The next test is immune panels. You may be suffering from an autoimmune problem. Now, and this is a situation when your immune system actually attacks your nerves, connective tissue, your joints, your organs. Uh, not a good situation. Uh, you have a Th1 and a Th2 in your immune system that needs to be balanced. With this test, we want to see if one is elevated. If one of them is elevated, that's a sign that you have an autoimmune condition going on. We need to determine what that is. And these things can be caused by infections of parasites, molds, bacteria, viruses, protozoa, heavy metals, just to name a few. So it's very important for us to identify that and to treat that. The next is H. pylori. H. pylori test tests for H. pylori bacteria infection of the gut. Again, we're looking at gut function with this test. The next is intestinal permeability, and this tests for leaky gut syndrome. Uh, again, your gut function is very, very important in your immune system. The final test is inflammation. We test for inflammatory processes going in the body by testing homocysteine and C-reactive protein. We find that most people with chronic conditions have some kind of an inflammatory response going on in their body. Now that's the metabolic side. On the neurologic side, we do specific neurologic treatments based on specific functional neurological testing. And what we do is we go through a very thorough neurological exam to see how your nerve system is functioning. It needs to be balanced left to right. And it's kind of like a, if a car has a short circuit in it, it won't work right. Well, your body's the same way. If you have a short circuit in your nerve system, it's just not going to work right. Your brain may be per perceiving pains and numbnesses and all well, the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. If you do have an imbalance, uh, we need to treat that. And so I'm going to give you some examples of what we do. Uh, Brain-based therapy is what we use. Uh, an example would be vibration therapy. We may use a vibrator on the right side of your body to stimulate your right cerebellum to increase the fire frequency of firing of the brain and the nerve system on that side. We may use auditory stimulation, olfactory, visual, or caloric. Uh, we have lasers that we use for this. Uh, cold laser therapy is very, very effective. Uh, hot lasers cut tissues, like in surgery, but cold lasers actually stimulate tissues to wake up and start functioning right again. And we'd apply these lasers right to your feet or hands or spine. 
Another treatment we have is called a non-surgical spinal decompression. Uh, this is for people that have spinal stenosis. A lot of times peripheral neuropathy is caused because the joints in your spine actually close down and encroach on the nerves that go down the legs or out in the arms. With this device, this helps open the space up to pull the pressure off these nerves. It also acts to do a slow stretch to the muscles, which helps to balance the nerve system and brain function. Another device we have is called a rebuilder. This is an FDA clear device that's applied to the feet or hands and actually sends a signal there to help normalize and wake up the nerves to start firing properly again. So in summary, we look at the metabolic side, the neurologic side, to address your condition totally. All natural treatment. At this point, you need to be asking yourself a question. First, how has this condition affected my life? my finances, my job, my relationships. Second, where am I going to be in a year or three years from now if I don't take care of this? And third, what am I willing to do to get better? And by that what I mean is, are you the type of person that will take responsibility for your health and do what you need to do to get better? It may mean lifestyle changes like avoiding certain foods, taking certain nutrients, exercise. Well, if you're that type of person, you should call us to set up a consultation and a review of your condition to see if we can help you. You can call us at 850-878-5636. Or if you need more information, you can leave your information at the bottom of the website here and we'll mail you uh, more details. Thank you.